we're back with part three of uh, Eggman's breakdown and well let's move on straight away to the title unification match the both the Intercontinental and World Championships on the line in the same match our final analysis to give and uh, well let's let's start right now that'd be a good idea wouldn't it <laughs> that'd be a great idea um, we used up too much time for I was only supposed to be two parts but hey we, we need to get this match down and dusted don't we we do indeed so uh, let's have the back story I kinda forget this one because it's everywhere because um, it is a bit of a jumble because uh, well let's uh, have uh, Chaos and Metal Sonic had a uh, collision at Unforgiven uh, for the Anacon now title two out of three falls um, and there's one thing I would like to point out for that what's that uh, well Metal Sonic did get one pinfall over Chaos and we've said Chaos hasn't been unpinnable but maybe just maybe Metal has the opportunity to eliminate Chaos well if that's the case then Mario's got a good t tag team partner and the, he's got the uh, the Chaos Defeater I mean uh, you were saying Manic had the Link's uh, team uh, you were saying Manic had Link uh, to help him defeat Tails so maybe Mario's got Metal to help him beat Chaos but uh, we'll have to see on that one and also we've got the uh, rivalry between Aki and Metal Knuckles that, that took place at Unforgiven after Metal Knuckles has done some uh, evil assaults on uh, Star which is uh, Aki's girlfriend but uh, and uh, he obviously is uh, well we're still in the hunt but now they get to fight for the uh, the opportunity to have both championships they certainly do and uh, it's not against of course uh, Sonic and Mario who've uh, had the rivalry since the beginning of uh, Summer Strike or just before it and uh, well Mario has uh, Sonic defeated him at uh, Summer Strike but an unforgiven Mario walked away with the World Championship uh, from right under his nose um, and that's uh, and now Mario is uh, Mario's uh, World Title match is in serious jeopardy I, I would say uh, because he's not only going to retain the championship in this match but uh, he's got to win the IC title as well so uh, that means he's got a big chaos but like I said he's got metal he has indeed so who knows it's going to be a very hard match to predict myself <coughs> all I can give is a detailed analysis um, I, I haven't got a, a winner here if I was to pick some favorites I would bet on Sonic I would bet on Chaos and I would bet on Metal Sonic I'm not, I'm not favoring Mario in this one for some reason he's, he's not as powerful as the other three that I just mentioned um, he's uh, overrated in my view if you will but uh, who knows he could shock us all because he did it unforgiven he suddenly just swooped up with the uh, world champ uh, title and he had an epic match with Metal Knuckles uh, at the end of last year uh, what was it the uh, KO match where we were saying it's impossible to KO a robot and he knocked him out he knocked Metal Knuckles out and uh, so I'm saying Mario is not the favorite here but he wasn't in that knockout match either so he has the potential to win that match also so uh, we're looking at four definitely qualified people to win I know a lot of people are pulling for Metal uh, to win Metal Sonic um, uh, I, th I believe that he will be the last uh, survivor of th that team if uh, I, well I, that's what I assume I mean, this is only predictions this is not official but most of the time I'm right so that's a good thing <laughs> well as you say you're right but uh, from the other side um, this is uh, gonna be a bit complicated because Sonic's team is not uh, 
let's say a well oiled machine because I feel that Chaos will want to hold on to that Intercom now championship so obviously he's going to have some denial and, and Sonic is going to want the uh, to beat Mario they're both going to want to have to beat Mario so and only one person can become undisputed champion so perhaps we could be seeing Chaos and Sonic having a little uh, old location um, if uh, Mano Knuckles does get wiped out we don't know who, what the order is of uh, elimination or indeed the order of appearance um, but uh, obviously there will be uh, some friction if Sonic and Chaos are in the ring at the same time um, and per they're perhaps on the deciding fall uh, because the, the person who does get the pinfall becomes the undisputed champion but uh, and uh, we got Aki down there he is the wild card I will admit we don't know like I said before we don't know Aki's skills he he might pull off a, a surprising victory but uh, with the help of Metal Sonic defeating Chaos because uh, Aki has been unable to do that because he had a match with Chaos and no matter what he did he couldn't uh, put Chaos away but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this match it's going to be interesting to see the winner that's for sure um, and it's going to be interesting to see how all the members are going to team up if they're going to team up I've got a feeling it's going to turn into an all out brawl at the end but uh, we'll have to wait and see so uh, prediction wise like I said I'm going to stick with uh, either Sonic Chaos or Metal Sonic they're the most uh, favorite in my book and Metal is certainly the most favorite in the fans book uh, but uh, Chaos obviously wants to hold on to that title and he's also uh, unpinnable and the only way of course to be pinned or to be eliminated so I say is to be pinned and to be uh, made submit and I don't think Chaos is going to submit anytime soon so uh, he will definitely be a survivor but will he be a winner that's another thing Yes, it all comes down to that, and uh, of course the uh, the winner will receive both championships, and we'll have our first ever undisputed champion. Now people are getting confused about that because uh, as we end off here, I'm as I well mention it because um, well um, they're thinking well I'm just going to have a sole championship, and I'm actually not. Um, the the world title and IC title will be combined to make the undisputed championship. If the titles get split up again, you will not be undisputed champion. That will just be an intercontinental and world ch champion. Um, so if you but if you hold both titles, then I'm declaring you as undisputed champion. So let's just verify that now. So. Uh, you must have both championships to be undisputed champion obviously uh, but if you ha only have one title then you'll be that champion but uh, it will be interesting to see who comes out on top and uh, I definitely as I said I cannot wait for this event it should be coming around uh, next weekend shall we say let's make a target I'm gonna try and do my best because I've already got half of the half of it's finished uh, so I'm just going to do the other half now and hopefully that will only take another week and I'll be able to, able to upload on the uh, well maybe next Sunday so uh, we will see so uh, I, what date will it be then uh, let's not work that out now <laughs> but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, sh little show I do or we, we've uh, introduced, uh, introduced here um, I don't want it to be, to be super glamorous, obviously, but uh, it's just uh, it's just info. Let's just say, uh, pretend it was a radio show. Pretend it was a chip and egg show. No, let's don't pretend it was that. <laughs> That's one of my big failures in life. <laughs> I like bringing up uh, past stuff about you that was complete failure. Yes, well, the SF has not been a failure. I'm sure a lot of the fans will agree. And uh, I guess we will sign out on that note and say we'll see you at Survivor Series. Don't miss it. We're not going to. No, we're calling it. And you're competing in it. So uh, we'll see you then.